Hey everyone, it's Gavin from Balls to You, and welcome back to another base morph uh, instalment. And as the soil tool suggests, this is going to be a fire and yellow belly um, base morph video. The reason why I'm doing fire and yellow belly is simply because uh, just to show people the difference between the two, and just to show some characteristics. Uh, what, you know what to look for uh, regarding yellow bellies compared to normals and fires compared to normals uh, so what I've got here okay is just a straight up normal okay nice example of a normal um, you know nice blushing all that sort of stuff nice head stamp okay because uh, I do get questioned quite a bit you know what is the difference between a yellow belly and a normal so hopefully when I put this little guy in the frame you should be able to see now until you've seen one in person it's very difficult to sort of get an idea what you're looking for regarding the yellow belly side of things um, yes as the name suggests yellow belly you would expect them to have a yellow belly but not all of them have yellow bellies so as you can see here what we've got is a normal contrasted uh, baby and again if you look at this one the yellow belly seems to be like the, the colors are amplified now people use the word um, you know like yellow bellies to be brightening genes they're not brightening genes the fire is a brightening gene the yellow belly is what I would class as being a enhancer or an amplifier okay so as you can see it takes the normal colorations of the ball python and it basically just amps up the color okay it does do a little freaky stuff as well with a pattern but mainly it's a color mutation as you can see comparing the two okay so some traits that you're going to look for is pretty much with the yellow belly side of things before we go into the yellow belly let's just move the normal out of the way everyone should know what a normal looks like so back to the yellow belly as you can see it tends to be a bit more of a bronzy color okay the dorsal uh, striping um, down the back can be very gold in color um, the blacks coming up here are very black okay as you can see quite dark and again it just seems that the colors are amplified like if you look at the head obviously they have a head stamp as well again some are more pronounced than others it's similar to like what I'm starting seeing uh, the ball python side of things is people look at pods and they go for like a high white pod or a low white pod what that is it's basically sort of um, you know it's an expression of the color or of the mutation it's the same across the board you can get high white calicos and low white calicos okay so you can get good example of yellow bellies and you can get average uh, example of yellow bellies so what what I'll try and do this little guy will chill out so so what I'm saying is the head stamps sometimes can be a lot more pronounced than others so the key elements that you're looking for you're looking for the actual snake colorization to be more amplified okay you're looking for it to be a more of a bronzy in color more of a gold on the dorsal tone and again the blacks to be more like a dark brown you know dark reddy color especially on the head okay, see if we can get this zoomed in a little bit okay so them are the sort of colors that you're looking for the next thing you're looking for is the gold or orangey flaming coming up from the belly okay uh, the blushing seems to be very sort of orangey gold like I said you know coming up sort of flames there and there as you can see in between the alien heads okay now that's another good you know giveaway for yellow belly the next side of things is obviously we're going to go over to the yellow belly side of things now the minute you turn them over and they haven't got a yellow belly people go oh it's no yellow belly well yellow bellies don't ha actually have to have yellow bellies okay again I've hatched some which have got pure yellowy orange bellies and then I've hatched some like this which are just real sort of your standard run-of-the-mill yellow belly 
Now what you're also looking for is this checkered effect, okay? Just where the ventral scales meet the actual scales of the snake, what you're looking for there, the belly scales are just actually where they're meeting, you're sort of looking for like this checkered effect, okay? No, this isn't hepapoid, those who are thinking, okay? Because again, you've got to understand guys that there's a lot of people who watch these videos who are new to the hobby, uh, so they get told various different stories about looking at uh, you know uh, oh yeah if they've got tracks underneath their head for pied and all that sort of stuff no that's not the case so anyway back to the yellow bellies so that is a basic standard yellow belly okay I've had some awesome example yellow bellies but again still a nice example uh, of a yellow belly okay so that's the yellow belly so let's add a few more mutations on top of that and we can show you exactly what it does okay now all we're going to do is add simple genes the reason why I'm doing this base morph program is to basically show people and get you guys thinking get your you know your thinking caps on and what can I breed together to make what um, sometimes it's okay seeing them in a picture but again sometimes on world of ball pythons the pictures aren't always right or the pictures aren't always the best or they're not actually the snake what they say they are so I'm not knocking world of ball pythons it's a good place to go so all we're going to do with the yellow belly is add just a simple gene which is pastel on top and what you're going to get you're going to get this little stunner here this is just a straightforward pastel yellow belly okay now these are not from the same clutch but they both share the same dad uh, and the dad is very alien headed uh, I have got another yellow belly male who's very, um, you know, sort of like a, an enchy look to him, if you like, you know, very apparent patterned sort of a snake. So what you're, you need to think is, is what snake, whenever you breed your snakes together, is what's going to complement each other, okay? So that's what you're looking for. Again, the yellow belly is amplifying the pastel, okay? Um what I'll try and do in fact let me see if I can grab a pastel just to show you bear with me okay what I'll do I'll just move this little guy out of the way and put in a pastel so this is just a standard pastel and again you can see what happens when you add the yellow belly the yellow belly just amplifies the colour of the pastel tenfold uh, this is just a, you, you sort of average pastel there's no uh, het inside that or anything whatsoever it's just your average pastel but this just by adding that yellow belly and again I can show you a bit more so it gives you a lot of blushing again you get that crazy orangey yellow goldy um, sort of blushing coming up from the belly okay and again you're looking for that checkered effect okay on the belly uh, it, the yellow belly is not showing up very well regarding the yellow along the, 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 the outer edge here it is yellow but what I sort of not being funny but you don't look at your snakes upside down so what I look for in a yellow belly is the pattern I'm looking for the color I'm looking for the vibrancy you know how vibrant it is you know you, you're looking at all this sort of blushing um, and again you've got to stop and think when you're making your combos what goes with what what's going to work with what so that is your yellow belly complex okay so yellow belly just purely amplifies from this to this and trust me guys in person the yellow belly pastels just look absolutely phenomenal okay so yellow belly into anything will amplify a color okay so we're going to jump across to the fires and the reason why I'll show you another combo that we've got uh, regarding um, the yellow belly but I need the fire gene to show you some examples so let's grab the fires out okay here we have again our normal okay just for comparison now we're going to add in the fire okay so now fire is a gene that gets lighter with age so it's a lightning gene so it will lighten your combinations up okay 
so it's not an enhancer so it doesn't amplify the colors it brightens things up okay as you can see here's normal okay and here's a fire again what you're looking for is a vibrant color you do get this sort of high gold um, down the dorsal stripe here okay and what you also get is a head stump okay and again compared to the yellow belly the fire's head is quite sort of a light in color and again there's a good example there you go crossing over okay you can see the two examples of the head that's normal that's a fire and you can see the difference in the head straight away okay nothing untowards really regarding the belly just a clean belly nothing major and again let's just move this little guy out of the way again what you're looking for is just a real clean bright fire okay this came from Marcus Jane line of uh, fires there are different fires out there which look different in different ways they are the same thing they do the same thing but some people call them different names but um, they are fires and again there are even fires that are named fires which are slightly different in look so but um I really do like uh, Mark's line of fire that we've got over here. So, there's your fire base complex. Okay, again, the same with the um, yellow belly. The yellow belly can make a white snake, it can make a, or an ivory snake, let's say that's why they're called ivories, but potentially can make a, a, a white snake. Uh, the fires can also make a white snake, which are the black eyed leucistics. Um, they're not exactly white, similar to the ivories, um, but what they actually are is uh, pretty much a white snake, and they'll have blotches of yellow going down, and obviously the snake will have black eyes. So it's a bit bizarre when you're looking at this animal to think that it could actually produce a white snake with black eyes. So let's pause it here. I'll go and get a combination, and we'll show you. Okay, what we have here is obviously our standard fire. Here we have a orange dream fire okay now you can see orange dream does carry a bit of a head stamp but the fire just amplifies that head stamp because again the fire has a head stamp okay and again this snake due to it being fire it will get brighter with age the same as this snake will but this one here with it having orange dream in as well just makes the blacks more blacker it just gives this orange tinge uh, to the actual snake itself and again you tend to get more orange dream uh, showing its colorations towards the tail okay now if I just get a standard orange dream and I'll show you okay fire orange dream okay just a plain orange dream male doesn't look much but again another subtle morph which we'll, we will do a, a video on and uh, we'll go through some combinations with that add them two together you're gonna get your orange dream fire which you can see is completely you know as far as I'm concerned you've got to add the, the right genes together to make the right combinations so again fire orange dream makes your fire orange dream combo and again as you can see the orange dream does have have a head stamp. It does have orange down towards its bottom half here and again the blacks are very black and the pattern is quite banded and reduced in pattern. Okay so that's the fire combination. So fire is a brightening gene and again yellow belly is an enhancing gene. Okay so let's mix it up a bit more so let's go for the next step okay back right fire yellow belly you can see the two together they look completely different again enhancing gene lightning gene okay so what happens when you mix them two together well what you get is you get something that I never ever thought about creating but I'll tell you what guys I had this purely by accident due to a dual side clutch and I'm absolutely blown away by it you get this they're called fire bellies okay this is a combination of obviously fire and yellow belly but guys you know this for me just it's a phenomenal snake just something I didn't think of doing 
I got it by accident, like I said it was a dual sighted clutch, this is a female so it's going nowhere um, and again it just goes to show that it's something for me I never thought about putting a fire and a yellow belly together okay I just did it to get my female started um, in the breeding season last season and, and guess what one of the uh, the little swimmers sawed the eggs now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you and just move these guys out of the way and uh, for some reason tonight all the snakes are very jumpy now this girl just blows me away again two simple genes I mean look at the head stamp on that girl again it's just been amplified and enhanced by the yellow belly and obviously the fire is just, just making it look so awesome it's just crazy um, again you're, you're gonna have with this girl the fire is gonna get obviously better with age and then the yellow belly is just gonna enhance the combination tremendously so again we've got ourselves some nice blushing coming up again the fire and the orange uh, sorry the fire and the yellow belly are fighting each other with the blushing okay see so instead of getting this tense orange you're sort of now getting like a yellowy orange okay so again real nice blushing in between like a gold and orange blushing in between the alien heads and again some nice blushing down here towards the tail and just overall you know if you can imagine this in your breeding team you know the the combinations you could get out of this is just endless um, so this is basically something that you know I produced which was a pure accident but I'm just really really pleased that we actually hit on it uh, because at least now I can see what the actual you know fire and yellow belly can do together um, and again guys I think you'll agree with me you know it's just a fantastic looking animal simple two gene combo again just quality genes that you may have lying around in your collection that you, you maybe don't know what to do with them or you're a bit like oh well we've seen all the the ivories and we've seen all the pastel yellow bellies and we've seen all all the fireflies and this that, and the other why not make yourself a fire belly okay because again whether it be a male or a female the the actual you know the the use of this particular combo with anything would just be fantastic uh, again you've got two powerhouse genes there you've got an enhancer and you've also got a brightening gene okay guys I think I've made this a bit too long but uh, I've tried to I wanted to get this girl in and obviously I couldn't do one without the other so I couldn't do the yellow belly without the fire because I wanted to get to this girl towards the end and again I think you'll agree with me how they've turned out um, there's a few other things I've got with fire and yellow belly in uh, I'm not going to show them just yet because I want to make them part of another mutation series part of another base morph series but I just wanted to show you guys like I said the difference between fire and yellow belly between a yellow belly and a normal, a fire and a normal and obviously the, some of the combinations, simple combinations that you can make just having these uh, simple genes around okay everyone uh, again hope everyone's all okay uh, we've got the Doncaster show coming up this Sunday there'll be a video coming up this week regarding information for that and uh, I'll speak to you guys soon take care